let's talk about it. It took forever for my ID to come. I started the process in April of 2022. Now it's February 2023. And I didn't, oh, I had not received my ID. And so I was tired of waiting. So I was like, let's just go to the Kenyan Embassy in Washington, D.C. so I can try to get all this stuff processed and done and probably will be faster here in the U.S. Crazy enough, right before... Okay, now I'm in front of the Kenyan Embassy in the hopes to go get my ID. But funny you enough, get your best phone. but guess what? All of a Bad sudden, phone. I came all the way over here booked an appointment to the Kenyan embassy in the United States so I can get my Kenyan ID because it was taking forever to come. And guess what ended up coming? My ID after everything has been booked. So in the process, we're gonna go and get this passport. Uh-oh. embassy we got the passports uh, at least my passport information situated we were there all day but it doesn't matter we got it finished i'm gonna get a passport baby girl Mombi's gonna get a passport and then now we're just gonna have to go get some more paperwork so we can try to get our dual and regain our citizenship back so now it's gonna be officially kenyan and american together excited took forever but everything should go quickly i think they said the passport should come in like six weeks which is very fast compared to how long the id took and my sister did her id and the best way to compare how quickly she get well i took it back i think they said for her it's gonna be six to eight months but that's only because it's being flown all the way to kenya and then being flown back which is still crazy considering it took mine the same amount of time or a little bit more because even though I did mine in Kenya and nothing had to be flown around. Hmm. But anyway, I'm just glad things are getting done. How do you feel about it all? Come here. Come on this side. How do you feel that you're getting your ID and the whole process? I feel good. No, now I can start contributing to stuff in Kenya and buy land. I'm and pay taxes. <laughs> I'm just, it was so seamless. And they were so understanding. Very patient. Oh my patient. goodness. Patient. They were oh top notch patient. Like we were there. We arrived there at nine. Ten. Ten. Ten a.m. And right now is what time? Three o'clock. It's three o'clock, and they just sat there, was patient with us, made sure we understood everything. Make sure we have all the documents. They're done. And it wasn't just with us. They're like that with everybody. everybody. Almost everybody that we spoke to or you encountered had great reviews about how everything is handled there like top notch great great job the architecture over here is just so pretty here everything around here is so pretty we got everything that we needed uh-huh we got <laughs> i love it we got our uh, passports for me and mommy and me and no no not yet for you and then we're gonna be getting an house we also got our dual citizenship before going well, to roll it. Well right now we're going to the White House and going in, and going inside to see the, the statue of Abraham Lincoln because right now we're we travel to Washington DC Yeah so now we're tourists after we got our paperwork done. So we're excited and ready and everybody else got everything that they needed done as well. Oh yeah, we did. So let's go. Just we just went to a Kenyan embassy again.